Okay, so uh, we continue now to the next part, effects of freezing. So the first effect that we discuss is called cold shortening. This is what we don't want to happen, okay? Because it's cold shortening due to chilling and freezing. Do you remember um, rigor mortis? What is rigor mortis? This is one of the postmortem changes that we discuss. That after that, the muscle of animal become stiffer, right? Muscle contraction because the formation of actomyosin, and then we have contraction of muscle, irreversible contraction, and then the muscle become rigor, right? So we need a certain time for this process to occur and we need a certain time for this process to release and after that, tenderization of, of meat. If you remember this, onset of rigor, completion of rigor, resolution or release of rigor, and tenderization of meat. Okay, so when will cold shortening occur? This problem normally occurs with sheep and sometimes with cattle, like cow, beef, okay, but not normally with pigs or poultry. What is the reason? Because we do chewing the meat so fast, rapidly. You remember the recommended time that we should do chew, chewing within two hours. We should not do very fast. Because if we do chilling very fast, for example, immediately after slaughter, then the result is we have cold shortening of the meat and the meat become tough instead of tender, instead of soft. Now it becomes tougher. Okay? And this toughness of contracted muscles is probably due to combination of two factors. Compression of the muscle structure at the actomyosin system contract and contraction and tightening of the connective tissue network in the muscle seat. The seat surrounding the muscle, surrounding the bundle of muscle, surrounding the fiber. You remember the structure of muscle before we discuss? Okay, and then the meat become tough. For example, uh, if we do so fast, we chew down very fast at this stage, then we may have, uh, we call this um, cold shortening. How to prevent cold shortening? Chew more slowly, or we can apply a tender stretch process. This is the term called tender stretch process. The carcass is hung from the edge bone immediately after slaughter so that the maximum proportion of the noble muscle are stretched, improving their tenderness. This, this is the carcass. So instead of hang here, then people now subject to hang here. Okay? Make the hook there. And hang. So then in uh, forms that the muscle are more relaxed, stretch. Okay. And then to avoid cutting before or during rigor. So in the body, we have the bone, right? Many bone, and muscle are attached to bone. So when the rigor occur, the bones will keep the muscle not to be contracted a lot. But if you cut the muscle out of the bone so early, and then after that, the rigor occur, then the muscle now become very short. Because no bone to hold it stretch anymore. You get the point? For example, now you do at home, you make a fillet of fish, dry catfish for example. You remove, you make a fillet, you know fillet to half of a fish? You remove it from the bone and you put on a table and you see time to time that the feelers become shorter because of rigor mortis. The muscle get contracted. But if you leave the fillet in the bone for a while and then the contraction occur, but the bone will keep the feelers long. It's the same here for the whole animal. 
So people normally not to remove the muscle out of the carcass, out of the bone so early. They should do it after rigor. Okay, the other approach that we can use electrical stimulation. Stimulation is not the same with a term before we study stunning. What is electrical stunning? Does we apply electricity to stun the animal when the animal is still alive? But now electrical stimulation means we also apply electricity but on the carcass, on the dead animal. Electric shocks okay. applying to the carcass immediately after slaughter causes muscular contraction which consume the ATP and glycogen present lead into rapid onset of rigor mortis. You get the point. Okay, so after slaughter, the glycogen will be, con will be broken down to make what? ATP. And as long as you ha still have enough ATP, the rigor will not occur, right? Now, what do we do with electrical stimulation? We use electric shocks we apply to the carcass to actually contract a lot of the muscle. The muscle contract a lot, the muscle like, um, and then the muscle will use energy fast. We use the glycogen, we use the ATP, we use, we use up this fast, mean that the rigor will come faster. When the rigor come faster, then you don't need to wait a long time. You don't need to wait many hours to do the tuning. You wait shorter time. Okay. But this normally not apply for pork. It can be applied for beef, for cattle, but not for pork because in pork, if the metabolism of glycogen is so fast, you have a danger of PSE. What is PSE again? Pale, sub, oxidative. Okay, watch again this part to know. If the metabolism of pork after slaughter is very fast when the temperature is still warm, a lot of accumulation of lactate acid, the pH is too much down, then you have PSE meat, which, one, which we don't like.